one. Tony and Hunter here. Say hi. Hi. Okay, so Hunty, why don't you have a quick run through and tell everyone what we've just got while I am, I'm just sharing the video around. Okay, so what we have here is some um, Christmassy stamps. So we just went to a local shop here in Yapoon. Um, careful it doesn't blind people. We just went to a local shop here in Yapoon. Um, it's just opened up called My Scrapbooking Obsession. Of course, as you all know that our Kids Creative Club, we really want to bring you guys stuff that you can do from home. So we ducked in there and grabbed some awesome goodies. And Hunter has picked out a handful of things that he wanted to use to make the next class some, with you guys, the next session. So we got some Christmassy stamps here. Then we got some copper, copper mousse. See the cool color. A red mousse. Are you sure this is red? And then you explain that. Hang on, I'm still sharing. So, for this, I believe I'm going to be doing that. And then for this one, I'm going to grab the red mousse and put it through the gaps. And it'll make, it'll exactly look like that, but just on this paper. And then for this one, I'm going to be doing this one, copper. But again, it'll look, it'll look like these here. And copper color. Yeah. So that's what we're doing today. Awesome. Okay. So just to let people know, we have actually done up some kits that are available. There's only a few here. It is limited in number. So if you do want something, you'll have to sort of let us know because, like I said, there is only a limited number. I think there's there's five done up. So we've got all the the kits here ready to go and we are just going to be demonstrating and showing you guys how to put them together so yep. so after we do this that's what it will look like nice and cool and after we do uh we no wrong one after we do this after we do this here, it will be It'll that. look like that. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so hello to everyone that has joined us. Thank you very much for dropping by. So we're just going to put the kits off to the side now and we'll get started and show you guys what we're going to do. So Hunter, would you like to get started with, which one do you want to do first? So we've got four, Four cards for these that when you, you you will end up with four and they they are Christmas themed cards please know that they are not traditional Christmas colors they are fun colors literally put together by Hunter Hunter came up with the colors and the designs for what's going to go into each card so they are a fun kids designed pack i might do the red first. red first so okay so these, these two now in the pack this is actually already done up and ready to go for you hunter now do you know how to do this yes okay do you want to give it a go so make sure it's on your flat side i need to do you have any um thingy so it doesn't like slide off like okay that. so you want some washi tape no no oh, yeah. so that is a fantastic idea hunter good job we're just going to grab some washi tape so lift up the stencil so we're going to put a little bit of washi tape up the top here I'm talking about this yeah because it might slide off i know so a little bit of washi tape up the top a little bit down the bottom okay put your stencil on top 
And then we're going to washi the top again. Now remember that you do need to hold it down. Oh, I put that on crooked. Okay, you do need to hold it down when you're doing it. And make sure you work from one direction. Now, do you need a hand? No. Okay. I don't need a hand. You've got two already, huh? Oops. Yeah. Just spread it? Yeah, yep. Now, yep, just like butter. So we need to hold down the stencil and spread it like butter. Yep, that's it. Perfect. Get messy. It's fun getting messy. So like we said, the, the kits, the messy job is already done for you. And if you would like, if you're a local and you would like the kits, all you have to do is just send us a quick message through our messenger and, um, and let us know you want one and we'll let you know how to pick it up. There we go. Okay. Good job. Not done yet. Can I give you a little tip? No. Okay. Now, can I give you a tip? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. No, you don't need any more of that. <laughs> so for these, you'll okay. still need some double-sided tape, or if you don't have double-sided tape, just grab out some glue. Glue works just as good. Okay. Uh oh. Okay. Now this is a messy, messy job, a messy, messy project. So let's pick that stencil up now, and that has Hunter's fantastic Christmas tree on it. Oh, dog's tree. Oh, it doesn't look. I was looking at that. You're looking at the wrong thing. Use this again. Key cam no one. That's about it. I need one. Thanks. Okay, so I'm going to take this and throw it in the sink. Hunter, do you want to get started on or at least put the lid on? That one? Yeah. How about I take that to the sink and clean it so you don't have to keep cleaning that with the wipes. Okay. So now all I have to do is grab the copper I got, open it. It's already been opened. Lovely. Good job. <laughs> Excellent. Now, we'll set that aside. You grab that and now clean. Okay, do you want me to put some more washi tape down? Yeah, but I need to think. Okay, so I know it's a bit boring right now, but this is just to show you guys what is involved in the process of getting the design onto the stencil. And then we just set these aside and we can get started into making the cards. Yay! <laughs> All right, Hunter, there you go. Copper. Yep, getting out the copper. Now, copper's actually one of Hunter's favorite colors. Second. Second favorite color. Third, third. Third. Oh goodness it's me. It's gold, then red, then this. Oh yes. So we do have a lot of metallic supplies in our craft room. That's way too much. Mm, so. Hey, the washi tape's coming off. That's all right. Just hold the ah. hold it. It's okay. I can help you hold it down. It's because it's a glass mat, and so the washi tape doesn't really hold on the glass very well. I'm doing if we use just normal sticky tape, it probably would have worked a little bit better.
So again, hello and thank you very much for joining us. Oh shoot, my hair's in the way. That's okay. Kill that. Yep, well, do you want me to hold? Like that? that? And, yeah. So of course this is the most time consuming part of mm. making the cards. Come on. Now that can move that. But once it's done and it's out of the way, we get on to creating the cards and putting them together. Can I do the stamp things? Um, the stamp things already been done for you. No, I'm going to do another one. Alright, so let's lift that up. There Whoa. we go. Very cool. Now I'm going to go put that in the sink while you can take that off. Hello, Teresa. So, <laughs> she's gonna go down to a crack, know, but it's middle of the night, so. so that's okay. So thank you so much for joining us from America. I hope that you're laying in bed. Come on. <laughs> okay, care for your head. Okay, so now we have to just set these aside and let them dry. We put them over yep, there. Yep, we'll set these over here. Right, so Hunter, do you want to grab out the rest of the stuff that's actually in the kit, please? So, okay. all this stuff so the blue is going to be with a 6x6. Six six. So you'll get a 6x12, and then we need to fold that in half. You want me to fold it in half? You can't, no, don't do it, I'll do it. Okay, you fold in half. Let's, Boy, let's sure just, yeah, it. but let's just do one thing at a time, dude. Okay. This is how I fold things. So that's how you fold things. Are you actually matching them up to make sure that it's correct? No, 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 stop. You need to match it up on the edges. Because see how you've just folded that? Look. Okay. <laughs> so it is really important that when you fold, you do actually match up your ends match up your edges no no get rid of the ruler we don't need the ruler there we go so that is going that is going to be with the blue and we'll be cutting out the bauble to add as well yep she is watching for bed okay so the next card please hunter okay so this is a you fold it I'll fold it. Okay, yeah. this is a six by eight piece. You can also just grab an A4 piece of, of um, paper, just a normal A4 piece, cut it in half, and you'll actually end up with one of these. So for this card, we need mm, we need this and the trees. The stamp tree, so they will go with that card. Next card, Hunter. This again is that half of the A4, so it is approximately six by eight. Fold that in half. Yeah. So we'll be using this, this, that, and this. Excellent. So they will be getting matted. The black on top of the yellow. Remember, I did mention that we are not using traditional Christmas colours in all of these cards. 
and that will just have a little stamp up there okay and then the fourth card please hunter okay so this is going to be a top fold card so this is four by 12 we fold it in half to make our card base at four by six okay and what uh what's the card front that's going to go on top of there these two so right yep so the glitter goes down yep so the glitter goes down first and then when that's dry that's going to go on top of there and then we get to cut out a piece and just stick that on top of there as well so these are four really fun don't do that because that just moved the iPad. So this is a four really simple, very easy, but you know, they're fun, they're kid friendly um, cards. So we will put these aside for now while we will finish these ones first. And then we can come back to the other two when that mousse is dry. Let's grab out the scissors, Hunter, so we can start cutting. Scissors. Yeah, can I have the smaller scissors, please? The bumblebee scissors. Um, yep, bumblebee scissors and the... Yes, you have too much scissors. I, yep, because we have scissors for everything here. So you can just use any scissors that you've got, that the kids have got laying around the house. So first of all, we want to we wanna glue this onto our card or double side tape. So... Let's throw that down. Hi, Bev. Hi. Okay. All right, you're gonna stick this onto. Are you doing? You doing that card? I don't know how to do it. <laughs> We've already spoke about how to do it. Really? You're the one who decided how we were gonna do it. You're going to add that. Oh, yeah, I did. Do you want to add that onto there? So you got to, that mat has to go down first. Yep, just like that, yep. Don't, don't shake it too much. Okay, and then we have to cut out. So do you want me to cut these out? Okay. You're going to cut them out? Do you want to cut out half and I cut out half? Okay. Alright, so again, sorry it's a bit boring, it's a bit slow, but we're just wanting to show you guys how to put these <laughs> kids friendly cards together. Um, the paper one for me. Yep, it sure did. So this is a great opportunity to keep the kids busy over the school holidays. Now, most of us do have stamps and stickers in our collection. You definitely, by all means, don't need to actually purchase the kit. You can just do this at home. I've given you a few of the measurements. So like I said, the A4 piece can just be, I'm gonna cut that little trunk off um, because it's gone now. So the A4 piece of of paper can just be cut in half and then it will fold into cards it's a great size actually because it will then fit into a basic envelope that you can use to send if you need to send off a cute little card to grandparents or aunts or uncles So there's three little trees there and Hunter's just finishing off his little trees. My fingers are too big. Come on. Now obviously we are rushing a little bit to try and keep the video down as much as possible. But with the kids at home, this could easily be a couple of hour project to keep them busy. Perfect. Okay, do you want some foam tape? You want to mount that on some foam tape? Yep. Okay, so foam tape again, you can collect, um, you can grab that from any of your cheaper stores. You don't have to go to the scrapbooking store, but of course we do now have one here in your crew, so that's yay. fantastic. Yeah, yay. We have been 
three times and it's only been open for five days. So <laughs> Five days? Yeah, to open on Monday. Today's Friday. There you go. Where are you going to stick that one, dude? Where are you going to put them? Come on. Do you want me to foam tape these as well or are they going to be flat? Where are you going? What are you going to do with them? I'm doing them. I know you're doing them, but what are you going to do with them? Put that there and then these are the kids. Okay, now do you want them foam taped as well? I am. Yeah? I'm doing it. Okay. Where's... You need to flip them over. Can you cut right there? Sure. There you go, you cut. My hands are too big. There you go. So again, the foam tape, you can grab them from places like the reject shop, um, dollars and cents down the main street. Do they have reject shop in America? No, but uh, Teresa knows how to do um, cards and scrapbooking. She can go to her shops in America and grab them. I'm not really sure where they have foam tape in, Australia, in America, but I'm sure they do Who knows if in different thing? spots. Who knows if it's not a thing? Hmm. No, I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, come on. Oh. Bring it on an angle. That's okay. Angles are fine. I mean, you won't see it. Now, unlike normal double-sided tape, foam tape is actually really, really easy to to lift up the ah, it's stuck to my the hand. rubbish. There you go. Here. Here. It's the kid. It's the three little pigs in the red wolf. <laughs> Oh, goodness me. Okay. <laughs> awesome. I love a card that tells a story. All right, no, so. They're, they're very bad tree. Mm -hmm. The three little trees. Oh, rightio. Okay. So next is we need to cut around our image. So, Hunter, do you want to do that or do you want me to do that? Oh, you Ah, you do it. And also. <laughs> okay. And. And That's also, foam tape scissors. Hmm. Yeah. And also, the, it should, and the tree, the tree does not, the big bad tree does not, um, what's the name? He does not, what? I don't know. He okay. does not puff and puff and puff. All right. But it has down. Okay. He jingles and jingles and jingles. Oh, all right then. He jingles it down. Okay, so. For this card, we're going to have a couple of different layers. So, here you go, mister. Don't, mate. Don't check it. What if the iPad falls down? Yeah. I think you've broken it enough as it is. Really. All right, there you go. First mat. You're going to fail. You're not going to fail. It's okay. Are you sure about that? Yep. So, be really careful. Don't be silly and you won't fail. Perfect. Stick them down. Okay. And it's on an angle. That's fine if it's mm -hmm. on an angle. Okay, there's the second mat. Put that down, the same as that one. Ah! Not too loud. Very cool. So, just cutting this one out. Now, Hunter came up with a really cool idea. He came up with making multiple coloured presents. We Ooh, did. Yes, you said you wanted all oh, different yeah. inks over yeah, the yeah, gifts. Yeah, yeah. Oh, goodness me. Oh. I thought I was the one with the bad memory. No. Okay, so we did come up with a few different techniques to make this work. Um, unfortunately, we're still struggling to get the perfect aspect, but I think we didn't do too bad. So, we of course gave ourselves the little dud one, the messy one, for the purpose of the video. For me, yes. However, the ones that are in the kits are actually put together a little bit nicer. They do look a little bit better than this one here. Okay, so you're going to use foam tape on this one as well? I'm not sure. But yeah, okay, so grab out some of the foam tape. So probably, if you want to use foam tape, maybe put a long strip just here. Yeah, and then, and put then 
one yeah. that goes up like that. There you go. Hi, Glinda. Thanks for joining us. Hi. And then we need to cut off a title. Okay, so we've got a little title. Put it down? Mom? Yeah, put them down, yep. Ah, it's stuck to me. Perfect. And then you want to put some foam tape on there as well. Foam tape. So in your kits, you do get the double stamped image of that title. So you can then, the kids can then go make another card and have a, a you know, a cute little title that they can stick on another card. There you go. We are having fun. Thank you very much. Yep. Really fun. Oh, and there's nerd. Janet. Hi, Janet. We're having fun because we got a new scrapbook shop in the room. Yes. So, okay. So now we'll start with this square card that we we had. So that is now dry. Hunter, do you want to show everyone that that is now dry? So that is dry and you can see it's now on my finger. <laughs> yep. Very cool. Okay. So... Again, we're going to mat that like that. Is that right? Mm -hmm. All right. So hang on. You need double-sided tape, dude, not foam tape. Where's the double? -sided? I've got it here. Okay, do it. Yeah. All right. So. Thank you don't you, have to Janet. use hi Janet yeah awesome now you don't have to use double sided tape if you don't have it if you've got just normal glue at home please feel free just to use that here yeah. stick it in down just like all the others yep perfect okay and then a ball ball now Hunter didn't really want to put a ball ball in the middle but no. is it okay if I just cut it out so we can mm -hmm. see what it's like and if yeah. you don't like it then you don't have to put it on Now this was the the thing that I wanted to add uh, to the kids. Hunter's over here making a nuisance of himself, of course. By accident. Okay, so this was one of the things that I wanted to add to the kit, just so that we had something extra to sort of put in the middle of that really fun looking starburst there. Hunter picked this out from the shop because he said it looked a little bit like a snowflake. Yep, sort of. Sort of. And sort of is yes. Sir. Yeah. But it's a great design because you'll be able to use this design for many things. So I was thinking about putting it like just there like that. What do you think? Shh, that's... Mm, or no. do you, you still think no? Mm -mm. You still think no? Okay, well we're not going to stick that down. But in the kit, I would probably suggest that uh, you do something like that. Okay. Now, last one. Almost done. So you will, like I said, you will have a few titles left over. Now, this glitter cardstock is super, super hard to actually get stuff to stick to it. So I definitely recommend if you use glue, like double it up a little bit. Okay, so we're going to stick this on top, Hunter. Yes. Can you check for me, please, to see if that is dry? Because I don't know if it is or not. Yeah. It, it is? It's dry. Oh, fabulous. Do you think... Yeah, it is. Okay. Hey, you're supposed to do it on here. I've got to do this one first. Can I use this? On what? No. Because yeah. I just, just explained that it's really hard to get things to stick to glitter paper. But you can... Add the title on there. Mm, it's fine. This one first, please. Okay, and then hang on. So we want to cut up the title. All 
right so that title is there ready for you can put your foam tape on there and I'll put some tape on here for this one This one has to go on first. So like I said, with the glitter cardstock, really add the extra tape. So hi, Darren. Oh, I wonder if Abby's watching. Hi. Okay, so you want to throw this, put this down? Ah, got it. Very good. Okay, and then add that on for your foam tape. What'd you say? Wherever you want to stick it. <laughs> Up there. Okay, uh, up there, what about, oh goodness, what about like somewhere here so we hide, hide the mushiness there, how about that, is that okay? Yeah. Alright, so there we go, that is our four cards that we've just made today, thank you very much Hunter, we, in your kits you will have extra, <laughs> there we go, you will have a, a couple extra um, titles that you can use and play and it make some extra stuff with so again the kits are here if you're local just give us a bell over messenger bell. Ding. <laughs> ding 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 give us a bell over messenger and we will organize you can come up pick up a kit there will be five of these kits so they are very limited of these card kits again they're directed towards children they are directed towards kids that they can just cut them up and throw them on with some with some glue um we will be looking at getting some other kits done as well these are just the christmas cards thank you very much glenda thank you uh, we will be looking at getting some cards packs done up that are like girl themes boy themes beach themes that sort of stuff so we're gonna say, just gonna look say. yeah we're gonna look into doing some extra ones hunters already said that he really wants to put up a layout kit as well he wants to design a my layout own, kit my own kit so yes and like i'm already the, starting to make it yes he's already starting to make a new song for himself can i so hang on so teresa's just said thank you very much she loves the card and loves to watch us craft together so thank you very much teresa thank we love you, that you join teresa. us teresa sorry if i teresa. said that wrong that's that's okay well we actually pronounce words a little bit different over here because of our accent as well so i could be saying names Gas. wrong too and i wouldn't even know Gas. all right oh excellent thank you abby and thank you Janet okay so that is us now don't forget that we do have uploads on our YouTube on blogger and also on our Facebook which you are watching now scrap crazy with Tony is our Facebook our blogger I think is also scrap crazy or Tony Heron something like that and our YouTube it's is also something. Tony Heron now but, uh, all three of them will have similar content, um, but some will have some and some won't. So make sure you keep an eye on, on them there. So thank you very much. Um, the kits again are available. Message us if you want one. You can, if you live locally, just come and pick it up. And there will be instructions as well um, on how to make the cards if you don't want to sit through the whole video. And I will be making my own kit. Yes, you'll be making your own kit. All right, so thank you very much, everyone. Bye.